Hello, my name is Johnny. Today we're going to look at uh, The Man from Uncle, the complete series, a DVD set, and a cool attache case packaging, uh, part of the awesome collection, classic collectibles, 1960s on up. If you'd like to subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. This is the classic series with Robert Vaughn from the 60s. Let's look at the, the case. Open it up. They all fit in here. There's a little ribbon. The little bonus discs fit in here. And they've got one, two, three, four there. I saved the, from the wrapping what it looks like there. I forget the price of this. Maybe it was just under $200 or something. That was back when this came out. It was uh, more expensive. I think you can get these in a cheaper type set uh, now. And yeah, there's the date on there, 2008. So 15 years ago. And you can see all the extras that's on here. Over 10 hours of bonuses. Right, cool. Now this came out in the fall of 1964, and it, in its last season it was canceled, so it went off the air in January of 68. So it was 64 season, 65, 66, 67, and ended in early 68. <clears throat> Bonus discs. Oops. Let, let that stay that way. And there. Just got a plain black DVD. Let's see what's on here. Interviews and things from fans and promo trailers and lots of cool stuff. And there's also... Uh, it isn't besides the bonus discs. Each, some of these discs have some extras on them too on each of the seasons. So it isn't all just contained on these. And talking with folks. I even have a Tom and Jerry cartoon. The mouse from H-U-N-G-E-R. One thing I will say about the packaging. These are slip covers that go over them and there's plastic and they're kind of hard corners that they're hard to deal with. It takes a lot of work to get them in and out and after a while it uh, pushes on the, the corner so it's a pain in the neck to take them in and out all the time. And like I said this was a half season so that's why that set is smaller and then each one looks like this with all the discs in there a lot of discs look at season one there 29 plus bonus footage Let's see after we look at the that's like a little different color there. 30 episodes. One of my favorite ones from the last season has Darren McGavin in it from Cole Shack and a Christmas story actor. And I believe he is like a pet leopard or something, and he's wearing like a olive drab uh, jumpsuit. And there's 
is the episodes there. I give the air date. What I don't like is they, I wish they would have give a brief uh, plot and more specifically said all the guest stars that would have been in each specific episode. They talk about the guest stars in the booklet and some of the episodes, but it's not everything, so you can't get it at a glance. I have a book on a man from uncle and i need, need to dig that out and that tells you more about each episode and the guest stars tells you all about the time slot how it was going all about the music how it was started and like i said i mentioned some of the guest stars and things but not specific on everything and right by the episodes because you can see it so they could have made that part better if i was designing it i would have done that in a bigger thing so you could get more info about specific episodes one of the episodes that was kind of fun was had sunny and Cher in it I think that was either the second or probably the third season. And of course, uh, the first season black and white and more serious. The second, third and fourth season were in color and they got a little silly and uh, so forth. The most silly one, I think, I just recently saw it again just to have fun. It's My Friend the Gorilla Affair, where they show uh, Napoleon Solo uh, dancing the Watusi or something with a uh, man in a gorilla suit. It was supposed to be a gorilla. Yeah, that's that Sonny and Cher one is the Hot Number Affair from March of 67. Abominable Snowman Affair, they just show that was, spoiler, Ilya in an outfit very, very briefly. It didn't feature the Abominable Snowman. One of the ones that's real noticeable, notable, what is it here? I'll get to the last one in a second, is uh, from the first season, 64-65. Uh, it had both William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy together in the same episode before Star Trek which was kind of cool to see and if I remember uh, Leonard Nimoy's character was something of a dope or not that smart if I to put it that way can't remember the title just by looking at it it's in the first season black and white And they had like some they turned into movies by making them two parts and releasing them here in America a little bit, but mainly more in Europe. And they had uh, guest stars like Telly Savalas and so forth. Near, near, so they just had, there's another two-parter in January 68. And I believe they make the note that <coughs> when this show went off, the, Next week, uh, they had, uh, they appeared on a laugh-in, uh, Waverly appeared and was calling, uh, Kiriakin or Solo, Mr. Waverly, I like Leo G. Carroll, he was in a fun movie from the 50s, 55, uh, the Tarantula, the Giant Tarantula, he was the mad doctor in that. And then I also have the, which isn't in here, the Girl from Uncle set I, with two part, two uh, discs. That one's kind of cool. I believe that one has, uh, is it Boris Koloff in one of those? It's Mother Muffin or something, which was kind of neat. And they did come back with uh, the 15 Years Later Affair. And in that, uh, they had, uh, what's-his-face from uh, the Avengers, 
uh, played Mr. Waverly because uh, Mr. Waverly had passed by that time. Patrick McNee, so that was kind of cool. And then uh, in the last season of the A-Team, Robert Vaughn was on there and they had an episode with their mentioning there, the Say Uncle Affair. So they had David McCallum on one of those. So let's uh, look at the, the set of packaging the man from uncle in an attache chase there's the picture that's in there when you open it up and then I say like I said I saved this from when this was shrink wrapped from the back I put that in there and then I also saved uh, this from it too on the packaging put it on here because this is rather plain so a neat set if you've never seen the show it might be available other ways to see some of them uh, lots of fun spy action and a little bit of spoof and lots of guest stars 60s fun spy stuff until next time thanks for watching everyone